What's up, guys? So I, I want to go over a few things. Uh, I'm about to have Void War here in War and Order. Works the same in Age of Z. Um, now we all have... It's it's popular to have line rooms where we have an emergency chat where we can uh, send out alerts to remind people. Now the problem that I see us run into a lot <clears throat> is that people might um, shield at the beginning... You know, you send out the line alerts. Everybody needs a shield. It's a purge. Shield or get burned, whatever. So you need to remember to be shielded at the beginning, of course. But what if it's a person that is... A person that has to be reminded of such a thing. Um, I cannot understand why it is so difficult just to um, set a schedule. So what... <laughs> What we run into is people shield early, you know, two hours earlier, four hours earlier, um, only set an eight hour or set a 24 hour, but it set it early. So shields start dropping three quarters of the way through um, the void war. And then what? They end up zeroed anyway. So all that pushing, pushing, pushing everybody, fearing people into getting shielded didn't end up helping the realm at all because they end up getting zeroed anyway. So, um, and even with the rooms and everybody um, sending out mails, um, telling you what's going on, a lot of people don't even read the events, but um, it doesn't help when somebody shields and then forgets to reshield. So, what I do, say, you know, I have this C31 here right? Um, I set an eight hour a couple hours ago. All right. So now I've given myself a couple hours into the void just to set my 24. So no matter what, all I got to do is remember at some point within, I don't know, four hours I gave myself um, to get on and reset the third 24 hour shield. And then it's no longer a problem at all. Well, it won't drop early. Um, so there was no giving away points in the beginning and no giving away points later. So what I would say to leaders out there is to think a little bit more deeply into why it is we run into these problems, because some people just are not that interested in the detail. Some people just get on for Bob the Builder or whatever, push some buttons, um, what, I, I can't even wrap my head around it because even if you're trying to be a builder, why would you want to lose your troops or give away your resources, whatever. Some people just have that busy of a life. But if you're that busy of a life, you're used to some kind of schedule. You'd have some organi organization that you could work out to where you could make this happen. But the best way to do it is to plan ahead, give yourself extra time because we get eight hour shield we get a free eight hour shield every week okay so all you got to do is use once a month on an eight hour that costs you nothing and then you can farm the gems or win the gems it only costs 720 gems out of your uh ship here right um or in age of z same deal it only costs 720 gems for a one day shield or you buy it for 900 straight up all right you know we go in here go into age of z and up here same thing black market all right you can get your shield for 720 gold okay and set your shield for an hour um or for a, a full day a couple hours into the event all right um I don't even have to buy them. And how many do I have? I haven't. I don't even remember the last time I got one. But I get them when I see them on sale. So I have 12 of them there. I got 18 8 hours, which I use a lot during events, you know, during void or whatever, between attacks or when I got to jump off for whatever reason. Um, so it's not that difficult. But the problem, again, is that everybody's, you know, forced into rushing to. Um, Remember on their Saturday night that they need to get on and, and uh, shield their castle. And then they don't remember that they need to get back on whatever the same hour and shield again. The bottom line is that you need to use two shields. Or 
you need to be in a realm and your name is well enough known and you communicate well enough that people will leave your castle alone and let you set your 24 hour shield the minute after reset, you know, cause I can do that on my castles, but some like in this nation here, um, they start the purge the full day before. If you're not uh, fogged or shielded, um, as of 24 hours before the void starts, um, you're getting zeroed. So you got to spend a fog or you got to spend a shield a full day before. Okay. So that's another thing. So you might as well just use um, either two full day shields and set an alarm um, or do an eight hour first, then two full day shields or set a three day shield at the start but if you're an attacker, you're not going to want to use a three-day shield because you're going to be dropping it. So a 24-hour shield is the least cost to use an eight-hour shield to buy yourself a window into the event before you start your 24-hour shield planning when it is you will be active. So that will change um, the time of which you decide to do it. Uh, this is Worms event. I was just on here doing some tower defense stuff. Um, and then I had to go eat because I was starving and, uh, there's, I'm, I'm maxed on worms, so I might as well use my stamina and kick out some monsters or z zombies in this game. Um, you know, I can solo fives and sixes. You can see I have zero to 20. So anyway, um, so that's that's what I want to discuss on. I mean, the preparation for void can is is a number of things. You have all your farms you got to worry about. So really, if you have the time to actually have farms and get them this far, there's no uh, there's no understanding for why it is you can't get yourself on a schedule and do these logical simple things to uh, help your world your nation your realm your kingdom whatever this goes for every game you know and people can't just sit by and allow you to take you know losses and give away points and they can't trust that you're going to be there especially if you're not a known name so you need to take it upon yourself to take care of these things and one of the simple ways that i have found to do it um so that you don't run into that problem you give yourself hours of time to be able to remember um to be able to make the time to get on for the shield when it's necessary so setting an eight hour shield ahead of time um even an hour before reset that gives you seven hours into the event before you need to set your 24 which makes you seven hours safer right um even if you got to set an eight hour one hour in, you know you're not going to be able to play at all, but you're going to be busy all day tomorrow. Um, so you set your eight hour, an hour before, and then set your 24 dead time right on reset, you know, so you don't have to worry about it. So um, there's got to be a way you can figure it out. Not everybody knows what you're doing. Not everybody can um, trust that you are able to <clears throat> handle yourself. So you've got to... Take the initiative to do these things. And that's what I just wanted to uh, make known that there are other possibilities to avoid all of these situations. So thanks for watching and good luck. And uh, if you're interested, I'm going to be trying my best to enjoy some Void and War and Order. It's very similar to Age of Z. Um, it's, it's much cooler in some ways, and then Age of Z has some things that is cooler about it. <clears throat> um, you know, the graphics are, are different. Um, I like them. I think it, they're very vibrant and, and very attention to detail. Um, you know, it's the same thing, monsters. The, the, the numbers are different, you know, based on the XPs you get or the powers of each thing and what have you, but that doesn't, um, it all factors into a different scale altogether. So that's, uh, <clears throat> that's the minor differences in the game, but 
and C36. I'm working on getting a C37. That's my C35 there that's saving up for C36. And that's just my C31 that I like to get to C32 for T10 Angels. But um, resources take priority over here on my C36. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and good luck.